Greetings gamers, it's Zangri. Today's topic is improving at combat in Naraka Blade Point, especially as a new player. Now, to a more experienced player, these tips might seem very basic. But to a newer player that is trying to improve and get more consistent with the combat in Naraka, hopefully these tips might help you reach that goal. Without further ado, let's get it going. Before we start with the first tip, I will quickly explain the rough system of combat, because you will not be able to utilize these tips without knowing the basics. This game has a rock-paper-scissors type combat, with light attacks, charge attacks, also called focus attacks, and counters. Light attacks hit through counters. Focus attacks tank through light attacks. And counters disarm you if you hit into them with a focus attack. Alright, here's the first tip. Do not spam light attacks. A basic mistake I see a lot of new players make is just spamming light attacks. The first two attacks are in the chain are fine to use most of the time and are useful. The third attack however on every weapon is a focus charge attack. This attack is very easy to predict. The only exception to this rule is the greatsword. On this weapon the second attack is the focus attack already. The light attack chain is not a true combo, which means that the enemy is time to counter after the second light attack. That means after the second hit any player that understands the combat of this game will counter or dodge you if you just spam light attacks. If you want to use light attacks you should cancel after the first or second attack to interrupt the attack chain and avoid the focus attack. You cancel by either holding the dodge button or by pressing the crouch button. Number 2. Fake charge attacks. For the same reason as not spamming light attacks, you should not mindlessly release focus attacks, because you will get countered. What I like to do is test the waters against an enemy I meet. I will run towards them and fake charge a focus attack. That means I will start up charging an attack and then dash out of the animation by holding the dodge button. Based on their reaction, I will decide my combat plan. If the enemy does not react, there is a good chance that I can get away with releasing a focus attack next time in their face. If they counter, I will instantly light attack them and combo them. This is a really rough idea on how you want to play a fight in this game. You want to get into your enemy's head. Use the rock paper scissors system to your advantage. Bait them into countering when you are not releasing a focus attack and release focus attacks when they don't expect it. However, I will not go deeper into combos in this video because it is worthy of its own video. There are a lot of combo guides out there already too. If you would enjoy a basic combo tutorial from me, then please leave it in the comments. Number 3. Work on countering. When I started off in Naraka, I just wanted to fight, fight and fight and get hits in. I had a hard time remembering to counter at the start. Countering is very important and your best tool especially against people that do not follow the first two tips. You are a big threat if you counter them properly. A single successful counter can win you a fight. Remember to press horizontal attack after countering to do a counter attack. Number 4. 
consider using heroes with combo breaker skills. I'm a big supporter of the idea of just playing heroes you enjoy and becoming good at them. However, there are heroes that are especially useful to new players. Heroes with combo breakers. Mistakes happen and you will be caught in combos here and there. These specific heroes have skills they can use while being CC'd. It allows them to escape out of combos you usually can't escape from. For example, air combos or even counter attacks after being countered. This minimizes the damage of some mistakes and will save you many times. These heroes include Timbo, Tianhai, Valda, Yuishan, Wu Chen, and Justina. I still need more time. As I said, if you enjoy another hero more, please play it. But these few heroes can help you survive easier and not get punished as hard for mistakes, especially when you are still new. Number 5. Understand the two dodge moves. There are two different ways to use the dodge move. You can either hold it or tap it. Tapping the dodge button is the best way to dodge out of harm's way quickly. But there is a slight delay for when you can attack again. Holding the dodge button is mostly used for mobility and animation cancelling. You can either use it to move quicker or do things like this. This is called toothpicking for example. Number 6. Work on movement. Movement takes up a huge part of the skill expression in Naraka. Be it scale rushing, Focus running or air walking. The right movement will increase your potential and possibilities insanely. It is useful for escaping and healing up quickly, chasing enemies down, or just generally moving fast around the map. The same way as with combos, I will not go in deeper about movement here, because it deserves its own video and there are really good guides about it out there already. Alright, this was all from me for today. I hope these tips helped you and thank you a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care gamers.